So George Cambosis is getting given another opportunity at a world title. Uh, honestly, how many chances are they going to give George Cambosis? I just don't understand it. What's he done to earn these op so many bloody opportunities that he's getting given? And look, Cambosis and Paros are intriguing fights. I get that. But at the end of the day, Cambosis does not deserve this fight. Hitchens is the mandatory at Liam Paro's IBF belt. Hitchens is the mandatory. If you want to, if they wanted to do a homecoming for Liam Paro or something like that, having fight is mandatory in Hitchens. Cambosis is into mandatory for the title. He's a lightweight, not a super lightweight. So it's like the fight, it doesn't make sense over apart from that they're both Australian. But Cambosis doesn't deserve the shot at the end of the day. He's coming off a loss to... Uh, Lomachenko in an IBF world title shot uh, in the lightweight division. Cambosis is coming off a loss in that fight. Lost every single round. Not only was Cambosis given the fight against uh, Lomachenko, he had it in Australia as well. Like, what's he done to deserve those rights? Why are they not doing doing it in America? Why are they not doing it in, like, Poland? Because that's where, uh, well, I, I'm saying that because that's where Usyk fought the war, because uh, obviously they can't fight in Ukraine. Um, oh, like, I, I just don't get it. That That's the thing. Cambosis also got given a pathetic rematch against Devin Haney after losing every single round, somehow had a rematch clause for the title, when he hadn't even defended the belt once after beating Tio, lost to Haney and somehow got a rematch clause. And that rematch was in Australia. How many chances is Cambosis going to get? He's literally being handed opportunity after opportunity. It's a joke, in my opinion. Honestly, should not be happening. Um, I, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. He's just getting handed up like every opportunity he can get. Like, what's he done to earn another world title? At least get another win or so under your belt. But also as well, robbed George, George Cambosis robbed Maxi Hughes. So that's something that he's also been given a robbery win. And it's I just don't get it with with George Cambosis, gets given these opportunities, just gets given everything. I just don't get it how he had the rematch clause after that Devin Haney loss in Australia as well, which makes it even more bloody mind-blowing. And I just don't get how he's now getting another opportunity after just losing to Lomachenko. I don't get it. How are you getting an opportunity? It's another title now. Like, if you want, move up to super lightweight. Do that. Fair play. That's probably the right idea for George Cambosis to do, in my opinion. 100 play percent. But at the end of the day, fight a contender in the division. If anything, fight a contender in the division. I, I just don't get why he's not doing that. Like, possibly wait around for the winner of Katara versus Progre. Fight the winner of that. Like, that that, that makes all the sense in the world for, for George Cambosis to do. But I, I he's not doing it like Fight Mateus, you're both coming off title uh, losses. So you're, they're both coming off title fight losses. Fight Mateus. Like, I just don't get why that's not happened either. It just, there's so much things that just doesn't make sense to me right now. There's so many other fights that Cambosis can have. And as I said, if you wanted a homecoming for Liam Paro, have him fight Hitchens, who is his mandatory. This is the thing. There's... I just don't get this with boxing. I just don't get this with boxing at all. It's so frustrating. So ridiculously frustrating. There's contenders to fight in that division. There's Barboza Jr. Like, you know, Sandor Martin. God knows if Haney's taking that fight now. There's Ramirez who he could be fighting. As I said, Mateus could fight Josh Taylor. He's coming up for last. Like, you know, fight Josh Taylor. Like, I just don't get why Cambosis is fighting Liam Parrow. He's got himself a title shot. Like, let's be real. Liam Parrow should absolutely score George Cambosis. And I have nothing. I like, no. I don't really, I don't have anything against Cambosis. I just hate the fact that he's been given opportunity after opportunity, which is not deserved whatsoever. Work your way up. That's what Cambosis needs to do. Work his way up. But 
that does that it just doesn't seem the case. He's just getting handed a Lee and Paro fight, which is not deserved. Paro should fight Hitchens. Paro would absolutely school Cambosis, in my opinion. 100 percent Paro would absolutely score him. Paro would box rings around the guy. Cambosis would try and take the fight to him. Paro would try and box around him well. And Paro could possibly knock him out of that and uh, uh, knock him out as well. I think Paro's power is pretty underrated, in my opinion, 100 percent um you know he's able to keep some like Mateus off him and you know made him as a power's got bloody good power 100 percent, very underrated um but yeah for Cambos this there's so many other fights for him in the division like you just I just don't get why he's fighting Liam Paro I, I just feel I I just don't get it I just don't get it he just gets handed opportunities I mean, it was questionable why he got why he was given a Tiafimo Lopez fight as well. Like people were saying that that shouldn't have been the fight that he should not have been fighting Cambosis. Because let's be real, before that, like Cambosis hadn't really beat anyone really of, of, of that world standard. That's the thing. So you know, it's it, it's frustrating to see. It's very frustrating to see. Um, you know, how he's high up in, like, you know, how he was that high in the rankings for, uh, in the IBF to fight Lomachenko after coming off losses for, for all the belts. That's the thing. Uh, when he fought Amy, two back-to-back -back losses for all the belts, and he was still, and Cambosis was still somehow high up in the IBF when he should have bloody been further down because he's, he had his opportunities. You should try and work your way back up instead of having one robbery win against Maxi Hughes. I just don't understand. And then that robbery win against Maxi Hughes just gave, got Cambosis in a world title shot in his next fight. It makes no, lo it's, there's no logic to it. it. Makes no sense. There's no logic. It's very frustrating because fighters in the division who have worked to try and get these opportunities, who are mandatories, Hitchens, for example, isn't getting the shot. Joke, 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 joke. Hitchens is also promoted by Eddie Hearn. So Eddie Hearn should be making that fight happen against his other fighter in Lee and Paro. How hard is that to make, Eddie? It, I, I, I just don't get it. Honestly, George Cambosis, he's had, he's had his chances. Let him get another three wins before you hand him another shot. Jesus Christ. And make it be against credible opponents as well, where there's no robberies. I hope Paro absolutely scores Cambosis. Anyway, thanks for watching.